hey guys welcome you all to the lecture so i hope you are doing good you must be happy and you must be studying properly today what i'm going to discuss with you is something which is different from the sequence that is given in ncrt so see the last topic which we discussed was the reaction of metals with acids and the next topic given in ncrt is the reaction of metals with the solution of metal salts but I'm skipping this particular topic for a while and today I'll be teaching you something known as a reactivity series. Okay. On the basis of that, once we'll learn the reactivity series, then we'll switch on to the next topic given in NCRT. Okay. So let me first tell you what actually the reactivity series is. Guys, you remember you have seen how the metals used to react with oxygen, how the metals were reacting with water, how the metals were reacting with acids. I'm taking HCl for example. And in all these cases, you have seen that the reactivity of metals is different. We have seen sodium and potassium were reacting very, very vigorously, whereas gold, silver and platinum were like at the last of the reactivity, whereas magnesium, calcium, aluminium were somewhere in the middle, right? So the same way as we have derived from the experiments that we have done, similarly, the scientists, they have came up with a series in which the metals have been arranged in the order of highest reactivity and then we go down to the order of lowest reactive metal okay and the series is like potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead then hydrogen copper mercury silver gold so if you ask me do i remember the series i remember the series and i can say it like in a few seconds k n s e m g l z n f e p b h c u a g a g a u simple Okay, so see, there are two ways to uh, remember the series. And uh, to be honest, yes, you have to remember the series. This will not be given to you in papers. You have to keep this thing in mind and then only you'll be able to answer the questions. So the first way you can learn it the way I have learned it. I just uh, spoke it like 10, 15 times a day and I did it continuously for three, four days. And thus the series is there in my mind since my childhood. So I learned it in 10th and now like now also I can remember the series like K N A C M G A L Z N F E P B H C U H G A G A U. So speak it like this five, seven times and you'll learn it. Okay. And if you are not good in mugging up the series like this, I have made a mnemonic for you. So I'm writing the mnemonic here. Maybe with the help of mnemonic, you can remember the series. So the mnemonic goes like this. This is K stands for Katappa. You must have watched Bahubali, right? So Katappa Ne. Kar me, so K N A C A M G will be taken as Katappa ne Kar me. Then A L could be taken as Akar Z N will be taken as Jakar. So Katappa ne Kar me Akar Jakar. Fir Pub Hokar. Kuch then mercury, then silver, and then gold. Kharide. So guys, I have made this in uh, Hindi. If you're not comfortable with this, do let me know. I'll make it in English also and I'll let you know. Otherwise, you can make any mnemonic from your side, which will be easy to remember. So I found it easier. My students found it easier to remember it this way. So if you find it similar, then go with it. Else make a new mnemonic. And yeah, when you make a new mnemonic, please do share it with me so that I can tell it to other students also. So let me just recall the series again. Katappa ne kar me akar jakar fir pub hokar kuch mercury silver gold kharide. So it's like K-N-A-C-M-G-L-Z-N-F-E-P-V-H-C-U-H-G-A-G-A-U. Okay, so moving on to the significance of the series, it says that potassium is highly reactive, followed by sodium, which is followed by calcium, then magnesium, then aluminium, and then zinc, and so on, so on, so on, then silver, and finally gold. 
So see here, uh, we discussed this also, right? Potassium and sodium are highly reactive. So the heat released in these kind re of reactions is so much that they can catch fire easily. Whereas in case of calcium, the heat released was less and calcium started floating onto the surface of water. Magnesium doesn't react with cold water, but it reacts with hot water. Then we said aluminium, zinc and iron, they were not reactive with hot water, neither they were reacting with cold water, neither they were reacting, uh, but yes, they were reacting with steam. And if I move to the last of the series, neither hot nor cold nor the steam. So this way, if you remember the series, you will be able to remember all the facts which you have seen till now. Okay, so guys, please practice it like three, four, five, six, seven times a day. It will hardly take two, three days and the series will be, you know, exactly in your mind. So study it well, be prepared with the series because next class I need the series. It should be there in your mind. It should be there in your, on your fingertips and then we'll continue with the next lecture in the next class. So till that time, learn the series, stay positive, stay well. Okay then, bye-bye.